So if you watched one of our previous quick tip videos, we talked about a cylinder contribution test on Ford. It's a really helpful test for trying to find and diagnose a misfire on Ford vehicles. Well, that's been enhanced with some additional features. So let's walk through on this 2021 Ford F-250. Okay, so for this test, it's in the engine system. I'm gonna load into the ECU there. Uh, it's under functional tests, and then it is a special function. And it's listed here under power balance test. So as I said, it used to be called cylinder contribution test. With the enhancements, it's now called the power balance test. So you can go in here and we need to start the engine and perform the test in park or neutral. Excessive RPM or rapid RPM changes may cause data loss and this test will disable the fuel injector compensation strategy. Make sure the parking brake is engaged. This is behind security, so we have that. All right, so here is our screen. Now this is a known good vehicle, it's a running vehicle. So if it's, everything's running the way it should, this has very low miles as well. So everything looks pretty even, right? So we have no dips, and it's pretty much a straight line. So now what we can do with this is we can go under this list and we can disable injectors and see what the change is. What would happen if we had a misfire on a vehicle? It would look like that. So I just cut out cylinder seven, I turn the injector off and we can see how the graph dips. Also kind of, how it kind of affects the other graphs a little bit, the other cylinders a little bit. And we can also see there's a history here with these gray boxes. So it shows you how far has it gone away from that center line. And then if I go back to enable all, it enables all the injectors. We see that it will settle down back to where it was. Now we have pretty much a straight line again. It, it is an evenly running engine, but the history stays as well. So we can see what is it doing now? What has it done in the past? And how is enabling or disabling those injectors affecting the running of the vehicle? Makes it a lot easier to be able to diagnose a misfire on these Ford vehicles.